this question is quite a troll. Oh my goodness. You have a stress strain curve. So this student is just hanging stuff on this curve until it goes up to his breaking point and measures everything, plots stress and strain. Then this student repeats the experiment with a wire of the same metal. My, my, my. Okay, same metal, twice the original length, half the diameter. So <clears throat> 2L and half diameter, I guess you could write that way. But it's the same metal, so it's the same Young modulus. And they ask you which graph is obtained. Stress strain graph. Now, if you look at all these things, I get very confused. If you're not sure how to start, you might think of, oh, maybe I should do ratios, you know, twice the length, half the diameter, but wait, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Same metal means same Young modulus. And what is the Young modulus? Young modulus is what we say the ratio of stress over strain. Oh, by the way, this is stress. This is strain. So if it's the same metal, means the ratio of stress over strain should be the same. So depending on whatever points you pick, let's say, I don't know, some points here or some points here, it should have the exact same ratio. So actually, or actually, if you look at the graph down here, what's different? Axis is different. This one is 0, 20, 40, 60, 80. It's until 0 to 40 only. This one, B is exactly the same as original. C is Y axis in X axis is different. D, the Y axis has changed. So actually, if you have the same exact Young modulus ratio, you should have the same graph. You should have the same graph. I don't know why they're so troll. But actually, if you look at it, B is actually exactly the same, so you should have the same graph. Now you want to miss, what about twice the length and half the diameter? Yeah, those are changing. Those are variables that are changing. But at the end of the day, the ratio is still the same. So, okay, let, let me show you one example of what you could do here. Let's say I want to check A. Why can't A be the answer? Okay, so let's do some ratio stuff. Uh, so for A, our axis is different. Mm, that's troublesome. Never mind. Let's look at our original graph on top and we say, okay, about 10, it should be roughly 2. So about 10, it should be roughly 2. Man, the ratio is different already. Okay, never mind. At 35, it should be roughly 4. So you check 35, roughly 4, somewhere there. What else can we plot? I don't know. I don't know what's beyond 40. You can't really tell anymore. So what else can I plot just for fun? 20, roughly 3, maybe? A little bit more than 20. So somewhere there. So actually, if you want to use the different scale... You notice the scale is different? If you want to use a different scale, you must still have the same ratio of stress over strain. So you need to have a graph like, uh, like that. But it can go more until 80. La. That's because you have twice the length, half diameter. So you can go to a greater range before you reach the breaking point, blah, blah, blah. But hey, ratio should be the same. So that's why I say this is a troll question. You just exactly choose the same graph. You can do the same for the rest to plot and see what should the graph be and why is it wrong. But the general idea is the same. Okay, ratio, uh, same ratio. Let's try a very nice big reminder here. Ratio. All right, so that is all for this question. <laughs> Short and sweet. Any doubts, comment below. I will see you in the next video, next question.